Okay, here is my update in a live video. <laughs> Here's my a day in the life of a OSHA acting alum. <laughs> my name's Cole, I'm currently 21 years old, and I graduated from the acting conservatory part of class of 2020, so COVID year, <laughs> um, which was a very interesting time. Um, but yeah, so here's my little day in the day. I am working two jobs, but I do have today off, which is really nice. Um, I currently work in retail. Uh, one of my jobs, I work for like an actual wellness company and then the other job is a sustainable athletic wear company. So I work in retail. Um, I really like both of my jobs because it's super chill. They're both really flexible uh, with like my really busy schedule. And like also they're really understanding that I'm a full-time student who's also working two, two jobs, you know, two part-time jobs and they're super chill. And it's also not super, super stressful itself, the job, which is really nice. That's something you want to try to look for. It can be difficult because I feel like most jobs in general are very stressful, especially if you work at places with high volume of customers, um, which is generally a lot of jobs like these. This is my fifth and sixth job I've had. And these are the two jobs I've worked that have been the least stressful. All my other jobs I've worked have been super stressful, like always doing something. There feels like there's never downtime, but but yeah. Some of y'all might be wondering, oh, is Cole still doing theater? Is Cole, Cole is still doing acting? I'm unfortunately not. I feel like my ship has sailed. Um, I will always be uh, very grateful for my experiences and for me being in theater. But I think from it's just I think it's no longer something that I personally want to pursue anymore. Um, and I think that's something I've really learned, which I think is a good lesson for me, because I think if you're going to go to college and you're going to be spending a lot of money on tuition and getting a degree, you want to make sure you get a degree in something that you would feel like you would use. So what am I doing now? So currently what I'm doing now is I'm majoring in education. My major is education sciences in specific. And then I'm also minoring in critical gender studies with distinction. Basically just the distinction part just refers to that. I'm also in the honors program, which is basically a research thesis honors program. So um, it's gonna start when I start school next week, but basically I'm gonna be working alongside professionals and one of my mentors who was one of my professors for one of my classes. Um, I'm gonna be working alongside to create my own thesis based on my own research, based on my own findings. And I'm really excited because research is something that has really been interesting to me recently. Um, and it's something that I would love to do in the future um, and use my degree in. So currently what I'm doing with my research is wanting to find intersectionalities and ties between education and what that looks like in terms of diversity, equity, inclusion. So in more specific broad terms, how are marginalized students, how are minorities being represented in these spaces? How are they being, what resources, what um, kind of pedagogical like techniques are being used to help these students? And how can we continue to, um, how can we continue to intersectionalize this connection so that students continue to feel represented? Because something that I've recent, or not recently, but something I've learned through my time of being a part of my major and my minor is that these systems, especially specifically education, they're systemically meant to put minorities, people of color and other minoritized communities in a situation where they will not get as many resources in comparison to those who are privileged and are gifted with, or are like inherited with systemic privilege. So that's like white students, rich students, male students, etc. Students who come with historical, sociopolitical, um, privilege they are going to have more opportunities than those who are marginalized who are minoritized disenfranchised etc so basically i want to find basically use my research to acknowledge that to understand what the root of these issues are let alone that it's a systemic problem and how we can like as an institution as you know teachers as educators as students how we can all work together to continue to inclusify these spaces for those who who are not feeling included in these environments. Um, that's something that's really important to me. And for someone who is queer and disabled, um, I've experienced problems with the education system in my own experience uh, my entire life. And that's something, so using my personal experience is really important to me in amplifying voices for other people. And um, especially for those who are scared to, I guess, confront this huge issue because it is very daunting. It is very apprehensive because it's such a broad issue and it's such a deep rooted issue too. Um, so that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm really excited. So what I want to do in the future essentially is I want to work in higher education, which is essentially just teaching people how to teach. That can be seen in a university setting. That can be seen in a district um that's kind of like where i'm kind of wanting to plant my seed is like in that area i think i'm going to start off being like a primary school teacher and kind of build my way up the ladder so essentially after i graduate from undergrad which will be after this year because i'm in my senior year and i'm on top of my graduation requirements which is really exciting i'm gonna take a gap year just to save some money kind of just take a break too i feel like in a way i am a little bit burnt out from undergraduate because it is a lot it is very exhausting um i definitely know i want to go to graduate school also i have to go to graduate school if i want to do the pathway that i am planning to do because i do need a teacher's credential as well as a master's in education usually you can get those at the same time which is really nice um it's just a lot of work because you have to essentially teach while also going to school and doing that which can be a lot but i think i got it 